Hello Ivy League fans and buckle up because it was a fantastic week six of Ivy League football here on the Ivy League Digital Network. We kicked things off in Cambridge with a pair of unbeatens that lived up to the pregame hype. Princeton visiting Harvard, both 2-0 in the league coming into Saturday. Princeton jumps out to a 13-0 lead before Harvard answers with this acrobatic catch. Connor Hempel to Ricky Zorn, 33-yard touchdown reception. Crimson cut the Princeton leads 13-7. Harvard scores again, make it 14-13 before the Tigers respond. Princeton quarterback Quinn Epperly to Connor Kelly, his second touchdown of the day. Two-point conversion is good, 21-14 Tigers. Now minute left in the third quarter, Harvard trails 28-21. Hempel steps up into the pocket and finds Tyler Ott, 23-yard touchdown reception. We're tied at 28. Seesaw battle is an absolute understatement and it continues. This quick response from the Tigers two minutes later at the start of the fourth quarter. Epperly fade into the corner of the end zone to Seth DeValvi for 12 yards, 35-28 Princeton. That's still the score with three minutes left in the fourth quarter and Harvard down seven makes a play. This fumble recovery from Jerron Wilson after the Crimson had thrown an interception gives Harvard the ball back with less than five minutes remaining in regulation. They take full advantage. Hempel to Ott again. It makes it 35 to 35 with under three minutes left and we are going into overtime. First overtime teams exchange touchdowns. Second overtime Harvard needs this to send it into triple overtime. Andrew Flesher barely squeezes it over the crossbar from 38 yards out and we go into a third overtime. Harvard gets a field goal on the first possession and now Princeton needs a touchdown to win in. Here's how it sounded on Princeton radio. Epperly on second down, fakes into the line, looking, throws back corner of the end zone, Wilson caught, did he catch it? Touchdown! Epperly to Wilson for a second straight year and the Tigers win it! What a game. Princeton moves to 3-0 in the league, 5-1 overall. Quinn Epperly was 37 for 50, 321 yards, 6 touchdowns. He had another 86 yards rushing on his way to being named the Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week. Hempel was 25 for 47, 307 yards, and 4 touchdowns for the Crimson. Another Ivy unbeaten defending champion Penn hosting Yale. Quakers trailing 3-0 here. Get on the board when Ryan Becker finds Kyle Wilcox for a 29-yard touchdown 7-3 Penn. Quakers open the game up with a touchdown right before halftime and now leading 14-3. Spencer Colsar with a two-yard run makes it 21-3 Penn. And despite two fourth-quarter touchdowns from Yale, it's Penn that moves 3-0 in the Ivy League with a 28-17 win. Wilcox ran the ball 23 times for 129 yards. Candler Rich had 97 rushing yards for Yale. Another shootout in Ithaca is Cornell hosted Brown. Trailing 7-0, Cornell gets on the board here. Quarterback Jeff Matthews finds Luke Hagee on the far sideline. He makes a move and gets into the end zone. 31 yards were tied at 7. From there, the Bears really open the game up. Brown leading 14-7. Quarterback Pat Donnelly finds Talith Lundeval right before halftime. The Bears take a 21-7 lead into the break. Now coming out of that break, Cornell taking the kickoff and fumbles it right into the arms of William Tymon. He scoops it up, takes it 23 yards for the score. Brown has a 28-7 lead. But Cornell fights back and comes back, cutting the deficit to seven here as Matthews takes it on his own into the end zone for the two-yard touchdown run, 42-35 Bears. But a fumble and an interception on the final two drives, this one here as time expires, allows Brown to come up with a 42-35 important league victory. Donnelly was 21 for 27, 295 yards, three touchdowns. Jordan Reisner added 110 yards rushing and a touchdown for Brown. Matthews was 30 for 46, 419 yards for the Big Red. And finally, Dartmouth hosting Columbia. This game all big green from the start. This wide receiver reverse to John Mark Carrier gives Dartmouth a 6-0 lead, just over 9.5 minutes left in the first quarter. 
The two connect again to make it 14 0. This one, a 17 yard touchdown. John Mark Harrier does this on the way to being named the Ivy League Rookie of the Week. Dartmouth puts the game away here, leading 21 0. Will McNamara with one of his two interceptions on the afternoon. Both interceptions returned for touchdowns, and Dartmouth wins going away 56 to nothing in Hanover, New Hampshire. Dominic Pierre had 209 all-purpose yards and a touchdown for the Big Green, while McNamara was named the Ivy League Defensive Player of the Week. A look at the upcoming schedule for Saturday, the second weekend of all Ivy play. Columbia will travel to Yale at noon on the Yes Network, while Penn will hit the road to Providence for a 12.30 p.m. battle with Brown on Fox College Sports. Cornell visits Princeton at 1 p.m. on ESPN3, and Dartmouth pays a trip to Harvard to cap off the action at 5 p.m. right here on the Ivy League Digital Network. A reminder to follow the Ivy League on Facebook by searching the Ivy League and on Instagram at Ivy League Sports, and you can follow the Agent 8 on Twitter at Ivy underscore Athletics and at Ivy League Net. We'll see you next week for full league action on the Ivy League Digital Network.